What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video, we are going to taking a look at a latest auction OS 10 from OnePlus 7 onto our Redmi K20 Pro. So it's been a while and you guys been asking me what are the newer developments and new updates that has been gone to the auction OS over the time for the K20 Pro because it's been a while and there is no official thread or something onto the XDS stuff that people can keep up with. This is from a Russian developer and that offered very toxic one because to be honest, he banned me from his group because I didn't promote his Telegram group which he removed from the XDA cause, yeah, privacy reasons. Things are that dumb over here. So again, this is amazing work. And because he just removed me from one of the dumbest reasons ever cause, I don't know, they can easily port ROMs or have a little sense of how to treat people online in real life. It's not of our issues. This is an amazing port. And let's just take a look at that. So again, over here, as you can see, it's looking very beautiful on our K20 Pro. And there are nothing major updates since the last that I reviewed it. Like this is just a base upgrade. And there are some things that has been optimized at the back like for example performance and battery life cause people did actually report an amazing battery life of almost around 8 hours 20 minutes to 9 hours on this ROM like that is quite amazing well I can't report the same as I don't use the sim on my phone but just going through everything like this is uh, right now having the latest launcher from the OnePlus set and it's just looking amazing as you can see with the newer icons again all the widgets have been a bit outdated like for example this parking location and stuff and even going through apps and everything this is based on the latest version of the oneplus 7 beta so it even has brand new animations for some of the listings and stuff so as you can see app opening times are phenomenal as before nothing even that but just going through more stuff even if you just go to the settings as you can see there is a bit of a newer animation for the scrolling it's a bit more rubber bandy if you just go to the sounds and vibrations, Dolby Atmos is still kind of broken, but the speakers are much more fixed than before. Like the sound is much more fuller than before, which is kind of great. Again, live caption has been just completely implemented right over here and it just works fine with some of the apps like YouTube and stuff. Well, YouTube does actually crash on this ROM quite a while. Like still, you can almost never expect a completely stable auction OS build. There would be always some of the bugs over here and there, not just related to the weird ass hardware, which is the pop-up camera and the in-display fingerprint scanner, but just like some backend stuff. But even if you go to the customization, some of you guys did actually ask me, is there a newer OnePlus LED font? No, it's still the normal bold one. Scrolling up, you have the normal clock styles, you have the horizon light just as before, as you can see which completely works but going back scrolling through most stuff you have buttons and gestures security and lock screen which is again still the same face unlock there is no FOD and pretty much won't be coming anytime soon if ever but going down you have storage utilities stuff like hard settings which is the settings menu by the developer to just fix some of the stuff like for example sensors and modules like automatic camera position well the pop-up camera has been tweaked a lot over the time for example, it can be never almost integrated by the system. So you have to just depend on some of the macros. So for example, if you detects a camera app or if you add a camera app to its module list, it will automatically open it. Or for example, some of the apps like Instagram, you just can't have the camera popped up all the time. You can actually use your manual volume up and down buttons to just control it completely. Yep. That again works too. It's not that hard if you have made the choice of using an auction OS ROM, but again, volume down just retracts the camera back in, which is kind of great to be honest. Then again, you have automatic wake up device cause it doesn't have double tap to wake. Then you have DC oxy dimming, which is just OLED saver wrap customized to just look a bit more familiar. Again, everything has been added to the quick settings panel and this one kind of looks hideous. Like there are so many toggles it kind of looks just bad to be honest the original auction noise layout is far more better but then again as you can see pretty much all the toggles have been added to all the shortcuts which are not present into the auction os then again you have theme manager which is just a swift installer then again you have usefulness which again has some of the more features like system build settings network region for more optimization into the depth which is again a very nice addition but just going down to utilities you still have pretty much all the stuff like quick reply and landscape quick launch parallax oneplus laboratory which now has instant translation which is a newer auction OS feature i haven't actually tried this or whether it works good outside china but as you can see just completely crashes but going back about phone it has a joker picture right over there i don't know why but one plus seven auction os beta 12 ob 12 and android version it's 10 of course and then just going back just going through normal stuff like the newer recent apps panel and everything the experience is just like amazing using this rom is fabulous like the battery life combined with the speed that it gets is just amazing but if you're asking me whether to just use this as a daily driver 
well it's far more stable than before but there are far too many app crashes then again the lack of biometric security like it has a very beautiful in display fingerprint scanner which is just completely hard to fix and then relying on the face unlock for the upper pop-up camera just kind of damages the hardware of the phone and yeah that's kind of pretty much it for the latest auction os port for the redmi k20 pro i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like and subscribe down there see you guys in the next one peace